Good morning everyone and welcome to the online classes. Students, in the previous video, we have started the exercise understanding the text and in that we have completed question number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now today we will see the next questions. Okay, so see here question number 5. I got into the rocket and was all set. Okay, see question number A. Who said this to whom and when? Now read the sentence children once again. I got into the rocket and was all set. Who said this? Bobby said this to his father. And when he said this at night. Okay, when he was in his bedroom. What was meant by the speaker? What is the meaning of this sentence children? I was all about to go into the rocket and all was said. Bobby said this. Bobby told this to his father. And what is the meant? Why the Bobby has said this? Because in this case, the speaker meant that he had gone to the rocket. He was inside the rocket and he was just going to take off to the moon but all of sudden he came down okay so once again see what was meant by the speaker the speaker meant that he had really gone to the rocket he sat there but he came out now question number c what was understood by the listener and how his father took all this incident? His father thought that the Bobby must be joking. And the Bobby is talking about his own playing rocket that is already kept in his backyard. So he thought that he's talking about a playing rocket. That with that rocket, with that game rocket, with that small rocket, the Bobby is deciding to go to the moon. So, father didn't take this seriously. He simply thought that he's talking about his whole day playing game. Okay? So, this is your question number five. Now, question number six. Children were wonderful. What a wonderful dream world they live in. Children were wonderful. Who thought this? Now, who thought this? Bobby's father. Because this is the last uh, paragraphs in the chapter, children. Uh, if you will see in paragraph number 46 and 47, John Kendall smiled as he left the bedroom. Children were wonderful. Give them a few old boats and steering wheel and they could build up a ship to fly to the moon. What a wonderful dream world they live in. So who said this or who thought this? Bobby's father thought this. And why? Why he thought like this? Because Bobby was actually planning to go to the moon. And so he said the same thing to his father. But his father thought that the Bobby is simply joking. Okay, Bobby is talking about his game, that his game rocket and in which only he is going to the moon. So he thought that what a wonderful dream these children have. That is, they are ready to go to any way. They are ready to make the ship and if possible then they can give the wings to the ship and with the help of that ship also they all are ready to go to the moon. So your question number uh, sixth who thought this and why? Bobby's father thought this because Bobby was talking about really going to the moon. Really going to the moon. But his father thought that the Bobby is simply making fun. Part B. In this situation, 
who thought he is wiser the grown up or the child who thought that he is wiser grown up definitely because at the end bobby said that yes i was there in the rocket and i was about to go to the moon but all of sudden i thought about the mom that if you will not be there and if i will also not be here then who will look after the mom so i decided to come out of the rocket and then i came back so who said this that yes you are wiser father and father is the grown up so children in this situation the grown up thought that he is wiser father thought that he is wiser did he really have the fuller and better understanding of the situation whether the grown up understood the situation completely no he didn't understand the situation because bobby was all together telling about the real going to the moon he was telling that i went into the rocket i sat there but all of sudden i thought about my mom and i came back to home but what his father was thinking his father was thinking that he is talking about that bobby was talking about his own game rocket his playing rocket and that's why he thought that he is wiser now he is growing up and that's why he is thinking of his mom and the boy is living in the world of dreams okay so this will be your answer that in this situation who thought that he is wiser we will write down in this situation the grown up thought that he is wiser did he really have the fuller and better understanding no he didn't understand the situation because bobby was telling about the real thing and the father was thinking about the imagination of the bobby's dream okay so in this way i have explained you the meaning of the questions and how we can attempt their answers okay now children if possible then you please try to write the answers in your own words so that whenever i give you the answer at that time you should understand the meaning of the answers in a better way clear now see question number b the question number b is complete this flow chart about the events that take place in the story through the day oh this we have to do john kendall leaves for work bobby wakes up this is your first like this is the summary of your whole lesson okay in seven points summary of the lesson in seven points see the second one bobby goes out of the house first to backyard and then to the drone where the rocket was kept yes children see once again question number b complete this flow chart about the event that take place in the story through the day so we have to write the summary in seven points your first point is already given john kendall leaves for work and bobby wakes up see the second one bobby goes out of the house first to backyard and then to the drone where the rocket was kept third point bobby hides inside the rocket and prepared to go to the moon clear fourth one what is the next sequence after going inside the rocket bobby changes his mind and comes back or comes out of the rocket and back to the home so this was the fourth event that bobby changed his mind he came out of the rocket and simply he went to the home john steam after that john steam fires the rocket okay sixth one john comes back home seventh john and bobby talk at home about the going to the moon and decide to play the ball next day 
children just imagine about the point number 4 and 5 bobby changed his mind and the john team defies the rocket if bobby had not changed his mind then can you imagine can you imagine the situation the rocket was carrying the bombs to explode to the moon and inside the rocket bobby was there and if he had not changed his mind if he would not have thought about his mother then so all its imagination children all its imagination okay so at last bobby thought about his mother he came out he went home and he slept and then the rocket was uh, launched to the moon successfully so this is all about the exercise number a and b now in the next part of the video we will see appreciating the text grammar and uses clear thank you everyone